Hello everyone and welcome to this video where we will talk about the retirement of the DP500 exam and the Azure Enterprise Data Analyst Associate certification. This is already the third Microsoft certification exam to get retired in 2024 and we are only in February. But in this video, we will cover when the retirement happens, what happens when a certification gets retired, and good news, we actually have a replacement certification for this exam, so we will of course talk about that. Let's get started. Okay, so first of all, in a blog post done on the Microsoft community under the title of Microsoft Credentials Roundup, in-demand news for in-demand skills, Microsoft announced the following. Microsoft Fabric, the all-in-one analytics solution that covers everything from data movement to data science, has enabled the role of the enterprise data analyst to evolve into that of an analytics engineer. As a result, effective April 30, 2024, will retire the Microsoft Certified Azure Enterprise Data Analyst Associate Certification Exam and Exam DP500 Designing and Implementing Enterprise Scale Analytics Solutions using Microsoft Azure and Microsoft Power BI. So, if we recap, Microsoft will retire the DP500 exam and the associated certification, the Azure Enterprise Data Analyst Associate, on April 30th, 2024. Remember, you can still take the exam until that date and the certification will be valid for a year after you take it. If you already have the certification, you can still renew it, but eventually it will expire. And then, well, what happens when a certification expires? When a certification expires, it will still show on your profile and on the transcript. So everyone will know that you actually passed it. And for associate level certs, the certification is valid for one year after you pass it. So if you go pass it between now and end of April, you will still have it active for at least one year. After the certification expires, it will show up as an expired certification, very similar to what happens if you do not renew a certification exam. So it will show that you passed it, however, it will say that the certification is currently expired. But I have some good news for you. We have a replacement certification this time. The replacement exam is exam DP600, and it will give you the Microsoft Certified Fabrics Analytics Engineer Associate title. This exam got released in beta and on January 12th, 2024. It's still in beta today when I'm recording this in the middle of February, and it got announced as the official replacement for the DP500 exam towards the end of January. However, I want to emphasize that this is not a name change of the certification. So if you had the Azure Enterprise Data Analyst Associate certification, you will not automatically get the Fabric Analytics Engineer Associate certification. Microsoft already did that in the past for some certifications when the exam name and number changed, but the certification stayed the same. This time, it's a brand new role, so you would need to go and pass the new exam. Now, what does it mean for data professionals that want to get certified? First of all, let's be honest here. Microsoft is all in for the Microsoft Fabric as its suite of products that really, well, everything that has to do with data is part of Microsoft Fabric. So as soon as you hear data, X Microsoft Fabric. Even the Microsoft Conference this year changed the name from the Azure Data Conference to the Microsoft Fabric Community Conference. So really a clear change in everything marketing and direction from Microsoft. 
Now, what about Power BI? As the DP500 exam had quite a bit of Power BI inside. Well, the PL300 exam, which is all about Power BI and it's the Power BI data analyst associate role is still available. So if you want to get Power BI certified, this is the certification that you should be looking to get. Now, I want to hear your opinion. What do you think about this retirement? I'll be honest, I'm more in the modern workspace of things. So I do not have, or even intend to get the DP600 certification. I'm doing this video to inform the community and I actually had somebody reach out to me today about training the DP500 and they did not know it was about to expire. So I wanted to make sure that everybody knows as Microsoft didn't do a full blog post about it, but for those of you that are data engineers and data analysts, do you think this is the right move by Microsoft? Do you think that the role of the data analyst evolved into a fabric analytics engineer? Or do you think that both of them should be side by side and it's more of a marketing push by Microsoft for the full name? Please let me know in the comments below. And if you found this quick video valuable, please like the video, subscribe to the channel to make sure that you get the latest Microsoft certification news.